Spring has sprung in my Modesto, California tropical garden. We are in area zone 9B. I like to tell that to people because different zones 9B has different weather. Here in California, we start warming up usually right around the 1st of December. Excuse me, the 1st of February. But as you can see, there's some new growth on my Celadine plumeria. This guy is really healthy. It's in a partial shade, as you can see. However, um, my Hawaiian pink is not so lucky. Now, it's in the full sun up against the south side of my house. As you can see, it's recently dropped all of its leaves in anticipation for its spring summer growth. The only problem is it has no protection from the sun. Take a look. Even though our temperatures are have been in the 60s, the sun has been unmerciful. It's been uh, it's been foggy in the mornings and then just clear blue skies and this growth was protected by leaves uh, all the leaves were so i had last summer or last spring i had painted this and this is all protected but now this is unprotected and i will take show you what i'm going to use to deal with that first if you guys like this channel if you like growing tropical fruit trees and flowers in marginal climates make sure to click that like the subscribe button the notification bell and if you have any comments or questions leave them in the comment section below so yeah i'll take a look at uh the, the how i protect this so i wanted to show you guys how hot our sun is and how at least how it affects um bare bare uh, branches that haven't been protected that have been protected all year and haven't don't have the right makeup to take the full sun so as i showed you before here is the uh here's the spot that's that's getting sunburn already and let's just take a quick look at say the temperature of that wall look at that 131 degrees it's 60 degrees out and that wall is 133 degrees even the white look at that 107 108 104 that's the the white part of the wall but let's take a look at uh, some of these spots that are sunburned look at that 92 89 it all depends on what part but those are the areas that get sunburn so what we got to do is we got to protect them and we'll take a look at that in a second so, as I mentioned <clears throat> last year, I mixed up 50% uh, indoor latex paint and 50% water. And it seemed to do pretty good, but man, what a mess. Anywhere it spills on my plants, that tends to stain everything, get paint on it, and it's there forever. But this year, I'm going to try uh, this product. From ivy organics it's uh, actually got a color to it a uh, kind of a natural brown color that i'm going to try to you and you see how it works on the spots that get hit with the most amount of sun i like i've used it on some of my other plants and i love the fact that it kind of camouflages instead of instead of uh, um, turning everything white which is to me is a natural color um, but look at that it covers that spot up and it looks you know I'm not gonna say it looks completely natural but it sure does look better than having whitewash on your um, your tree and see I'm covering all the spots that have it goes on very lot smoother than paint so what do you guys think <laughs> it'll dry and it'll look a lot a bit more natural and this one I may go over this one again my name is Jeff if you like this video if you like this channel if you like growing tropical fruit and flowers in 
marginal climbers, hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to every comment and question. You have a wonderful day.